Well, kids, I'm pretty excited. Guess what? The old torque converter is here, and I'm really shocked just how fast that thing got here. I ordered it Sunday night. Got here in two, uh, three days. Pretty impressive. Well, you know, uh, so far right now, it's going pretty good. The old neon is kind of waiting for me, and um, I actually might get this done a little faster than I had thought. Uh, this uh, update, uh, as you saw in my last video, I pulled the transmission out, and uh, there it is. It's all tore apart. Well, it's partially tore apart. What I did, I pulled the front drum out, checked all the uh, bearings, and can't find nothing wrong with it. The only thing I could find was this uh, torque converter. This is the old torque converter that came out of it, and uh, it makes a little bit of noise. But uh, what I was really concerned about on the front drum, this is where the shaft goes in. And you can see it is not stripped. It is in really good shape. I think this is the only issue that I had was that torque converter there. Of course, I've done a lot of these transmissions in the past with the same issue. Now, there's the inside. You can see uh, pretty clean. The only thing that's holding me up right now, I ordered this gasket for the front pump, which sits on the back of this right there. And I cleaned it off, and I ordered a front uh, seal that goes right here. And there's a bearing that goes down in there. It's like a race that rides on that torque converter. If you look closely on mine there, if it focuses really well, you can see it's kind of wore down a little bit, so I'm going to be replacing that. But let's get into the goodies here. Let's go ahead and look at this new torque converter. Open this box up. You're going to see it for the first time just like me. And I'll do my best here to hold the camera steady, my little cell phone. was going to make a video, but I thought, you know what? I'm sure some people are having the same issues with their neons and or other vehicles, vice versa, and this might give you some inspiration to show you that you can actually fix it yourself sometimes. That's what my channel is all about. All right, so here we go. Oh, yeah, looky there, boys and girls. Sweet. This is a remanu uh, This is a rebuilt torque converter. I picked it up for $98, including shipping online. And now this one I can move around a little bit. That one there, you can't. Let me show you real quick. See, it's locked up. The clutches inside this thing are either froze or locked up. That is why when I would come up to a four-way stop or you put it in gear, drive or reverse, it would just die. Like you're popping the clutch out. A lot of people don't understand how these torque converters work. There's actually a clutch in there in your valve body on your transmission. When you go to drive neutral, it opens and closes the valve. And there's a set of clutches in there, just like a standard, uh, that work back and forth inside this. And when those clutches uh, engage, that's when you uh, get to take off. But it's a pretty complicated little system here that uh, works inside these. But that is it in a nutshell. There's a look at it. Um, if anybody's interested in where I purchased this, Ask me, and I will send you a link if you want to buy one for your Neon. They make these all the way... Uh, I believe this torque converter here uh, will fit from 1998 all the way up to 2005. And this is a four-speed. Now, the three-speed and the four-speed transmissions are different, so I'll do a little research. But I'm pretty happy. Uh, the only other uh, note here that I can suggest and tell you, when you take your torque converter out, your old one... Now, my bolts are way up under there. I don't feel like crawling back up under there. But take your old torque converter bolts out of your old torque converter and go in here and chase them. Make sure they're going to work okay. Make sure they're going to thread. Let me just show you real quick. Okay, here we go. The things I do for you peoples. <laughs> Make sure all your bolts and your old torque converter go into the new one okay. Because there are some cases when you put this in, if you cross-thread one of these when it's already in the uh, engine, you've already got it hooked up. It's really hard to get these to go back and straight. So just verify that they're going to go in okay. All four of them. Make sure they thread in just fine. And since I have nothing better to do, we'll just do all four of them here and verify. And we are good. So that is it in a nutshell. I don't have a lot to do today. I'm going to have to wait for my gaskets and my front pump bushing 
other than that, I can drop this thing back, put it up, I can actually put this back together and get it in the car in about two or three hours. So I'm pretty happy today that it came. Uh, I wasn't expecting this for another three days. So I figured I'd make a little video, show you guys uh, what's going on with the neon. So uh, stay tuned. It looks like it's going to work out pretty good. And uh, hopefully the weather stays nice and warm uh, from February, mid-February. It's in the 50s today. Nice little uh, return payback, I guess, from freezing to death in January, I guess. So, uh, all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, updates soon on the Neon and the uh, transmission uh, rebuild and all that. And brand new torque converter.